The latest Firefox for Linux has been released. Now the question is, does it continue to lag behind its competitors, or is it a quantum leap in speed and performance? Well, let's find out. Okay, so the new Firefox, fast for good. Let's uh, scroll down. Two times faster, lightweight, 30% less memory than Chrome. Interesting. And powerfully private, truly private browsing with tracking protection. <laughs> if you say so. Okay, so let's go ahead and extract Firefox 57 to uh, my desktop. I am testing this in Ubuntu Mate 17.10. Ubuntu Mate, really one of the best Linux distributions on the planet, especially for beginners. So if you are new to this, check out Ubuntu Mate. Okay, so almost done here. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and double click the folder. We're looking for an executable. It should be this, which is Firefox, of course. Let's double click that and we'll see just how fast the whoa. That was fast, wasn't it? Let's try it again. Double click. 1,000, 1,000, not even two seconds. Hmm. Interesting. Let's try a few web pages. All right, we'll go to TOS today. That was pretty fast. Uh, let's try opening up a few pages here and uh, see what we got. Well, that loaded right up. Okay, let's try a different video. Five reasons Linux beats Windows. That loaded right up. Hmm. Uh, let's try one more. Let's try my good buddy switch to Linux. And that loaded right up. Wow. Uh, let's try, uh, what is a heavy page? Let's try uh, CNN. Let's see how long this takes. And that is booting, <laughs> loading right up. Um, oh, looky, a newly discovered planet. Hmm, good. Uh, hmm. Well, my first look at this is pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, let's take a look under the hood here. Uh, let's go to um, preferences. Okay, general, startup, home page, tabs, files and applications. Choose our choose how Firefox handles the files you downloaded. Okay, nothing unusual here. Let's check for updates. Okay, it's up to date. Recommended performance settings. Let's go to search. Uh, let's see, one-click search engines, nothing unusual there, privacy and security. Okay, we can clear the cache, stored uh, site data, clear all data, yeah, we can clear that. Tracking protection, uh, Using use track, tracking protection to block known trackers, couple choices, three choices I prefer always, some permissions. Firefox data collection use. You have some options here. Deceptive content and dangerous software protection. This should always be on or clicked. And certificates. Firefox account. And nothing unusual there. Yeah, I mean, uh, in my brief tests, this is, uh, this is impressive, to say the least. UbuntuPodcast.org. That loads right up. Let's try, let's see. Let's go to U -M -U, <laughs> OMG, not OMG. Yeah, this is loading quite, yeah, it is impressive. What's this? Linux now powers 100% of the world's top 500 supercomputers. Well, good for Linux. Very good. Of course, the question is, some of you had questions about your extensions and add-ons. Will they work? 
I haven't tested them yet, but I will, and I will, I will let you know. But so far, yeah, this is running pretty good, at least uh, in my Ubuntu Mate 1710. Testing this in a uh, Lenovo desktop, a test machine, somewhat outdated, but just four gigabytes of RAM. So, so far I give Firefox Quantum or Fire, Firefox 57 for Linux two exciting thumbs up. So check out the latest Firefox Quantum. I believe so far that it is a quantum leap in speed and performance, at least for Linux. I'll have all the links below in the show notes. Thanks for watching.